If you eat meat and chicken, maybe once a week. انت ماشي على نظام غذائي معين؟ Yeah, maybe animals once a week. Animals because animals eyes, you know, like mm-hmm. horse, mm-hmm. like falcons, you know, eyes, mm-hmm. eyes, heart, heart. Yeah. So not too much animals. Of course, Arabic people don't eat a, a, a horse, but I'm saying even meat, not too much eating meat, no good. Mm-hmm. Once a week, maybe maximum. And then vegetable, hummus, uh, all good Arabic food, Middle East, like in the old time. Like in the Muslim, uh, look at the Muslim. Uh. Bread, almond, apple, go, read. Yeah. Read, you discover in the Muslim a lots of good things. Hmm. Okay. Very smart Prophet Muhammad. He knew what's good for the future about the body. So look at that. Don't ask me. And believe me, you have everything. So Sayyidina Omar said, Iyakum al laham, fa inna lahu darawa ka darawa al khamri. It's in the muwatta. Beware of meat. Because it has, it has an addiction like the addiction of wine. Beware of meat. Iyakum wallaham. Because it has an addiction like the addiction of wine. We have Muslims now eating meat three times a day. And then they're wondering why they have gout, why they have all these diseases. Seriously, start cutting that out. The other thing, I read a book last year called The Caveman's Diet. And in that book, he was arguing, this is not even, he's not a Muslim. He said, everybody should fast at least a month out of the year where they diminish their, this is what he said in his book. He's from LA. Everybody should fast a month out of the year and fast a couple of days in the month. Because he said, our bodies are designed to be food deprived. They're designed that way, to be food deprived. If you want to see an amazing documentary, look at, Sick, fat, and nearly dead. Sick, fat, and nearly dead. And you look at the miracle that happens on that. A man who fasted 60 days and then got another man who was almost dead to start fasting and the man's transformation was amazing. We need to transform our food. We need to eat healthy food that's locally grown. We need, if we're going to eat meat, you shouldn't eat meat more than once a day, once a week. Imam Sahra Tusturi, one of the conditions when he took on students, one of the conditions he stipulated was they only ate meat once a week. In Maliki fiqh, a rich woman is entitled to meat twice a week. Muslims were semi-vegetarians. The Prophet ﷺ was a semi-vegetarian. He did not eat a lot of meat. This is a fact. You can read it in the seerah. Two months they would see no smoke came out of his chimney. And they would say, what were you eating? They said, al-aswadain. It's in the Sahih collection. Al-aswadain, water and dates. Dates are one of the most beneficial foods in the world. So this is absolutely imperative that you change your diets. We're eating far too much processed foods. All of this cancer, one out of four people is getting cancer now. Heart disease, diabetes. 70% of people in some of the Gulf states over 40 have type 2 diabetes. 70%. They're drinking, eating all this processed food. Cancer has become epidemic in, in West Africa because they're eating all these processed foods. Eat fresh, healthy foods. Eat good foods. This is part of our religion. Allah doesn't mention food without mentioning halal and tayyib. Make your food a source of nutrition. Don't eat empty food. Don't eat too much food. Really, eat twice a day. Sahal was asked, he said, what do you say about a man who eats once a day? He said, Akul al-anbiya, that's the way the prophets eat. He said, what about twice a day? He said, Akul al-sadiqin, so that's the way the righteous eat. And then he said, what about three times a day? He said, build for them a trough. Build for them a trough. <laughs>